Alright, hey, alright, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is not going to be a makeup tutorial, so it's going to be kind of a chit chat and an update. I know in a past video, a long time ago, kind of right when, um, right around when Ryan had passed away and when Billy and I had first broken up, I put out a video talking about channel changes and life updates, and I feel like a lot of that video just wasn't authentic and it was me in the moment almost making that video more for myself, telling me what I wanted to hear. Because if you guys have been following me since then, none of those changes happened. I didn't move to Barcelona, I didn't change the direction of my channel. And I owe you all an apology because I really, truly wanted this platform to be a place where I could express myself and do so authentically and also truthfully and I kind of deviated from that and not in not in like a deceptive kind of way like I've never I've never lied to you guys it was more so that I set up false expectations that happened also when I launched my cosmetics line I was doing really great at the time and then Ryan and I had a little bit of issues when he was still alive and we <laughs> um, and then I kind of dropped the whole business and it felt it fell through and I haven't really kept up with the things that I said I was going to do so this video is more so just a kind of also on what I was just saying it's more so for me to <laughs> keep me accountable because clearly the last few videos that I've done on the same subject did not provide that result. I didn't stay consistent or true to what I said I was going to do and that needs to change and I probably shouldn't even be filming this right now it's very late at night I had a long work day I just hung out with my friend Svedka for a little bit you know we did we through shots back and forth, if you know what I mean. Um, but I find that after that happens, and I have these nights to myself to reflect, this is usually when I have the courage to film things like this, and, um, and I find some of my content's a little bit funnier. I'm not condoning alcohol. Don't drink until you're 21. Um, also, Svedka, sponsor me. <laughs> no, but jokes aside, I really, truly feel like it's time for me to actually do what I said I was going to do. This is the first video of mine that you're watching. You're probably like, what the actual fuck is happening? Like, what are you talking about? So just to give the smallest snippet that I can possibly give without going too in-depth or getting sad, uh, I started YouTube about six, so about six years ago, and at the time I was living with my fiance back in Connecticut. He passed away at the beginning of 2017. My channel fell, and then my father passed away four months after that. So the last three years have been mostly me recovering. I was on great momentum with my channel, and it definitely fell behind. That's where we're at now. That's your catch up. So the other day I had a realization at work at Sephora. I also work at Sephora, if you didn't know, that makeup my entire life was my passion. I never. I didn't realize when I started working at Sephora that it would end up becoming my occupation. And while yes, if you end up launching a makeup line or whatever, that does become your job and YouTube is a job, but it it took the joy out of it. When I get home, the last thing I want to do is film a video about the new Tarte foundation that just launched that I've been trying to sell for eight hours. And while that seems so spoiled, like I, it, I understand how that sounds. Like it's a privilege to be able to work with these products and do what I do, but at the same time, everything's situational. At a point, if you're doing it every day, it doesn't, it takes away from the, the wonder that it once had. My favorite thing to do when I would get my check from Hyatt before I was working at Sephora would be to go in and buy the newest thing. And now I get to see it and build the display for it two weeks before it even launches and play with the products and then I'm not excited excited about it anymore and then I have to sell it. So I'm kind of just taking a break. Makeup is still going to be part of my channel. I will still be doing reviews, tutorials, just it won't be the focus. I'm probably actually going to change my Instagram handle as well. I don't think it will be Cook Makeup anymore. I think I'm going to do some variation with my name um, because when I first started my YouTube, I truly believe, I was 17, like I didn't know any better, um, I thought that, that was all I had to offer, I hadn't gone to college yet, I hadn't gotten any of my degrees, I hadn't met the people that I've met, I haven't, I hadn't explored the LGBT community, which I've had the opportunity to do so since moving to Denver. So I'm a very different person from when I started my channel, and I don't think that makeup is all I have to offer, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start a new, fresh start. I'm not gonna delete any videos because views and AdSense. <laughs> Admittedly, I'm gonna be straight up honest with you guys. I kind of need the amassed million views, which I owe to you guys, thank you so much for. But I have over 1.5 million views amassed for all of my videos in the lifetime of my YouTube channel, and I don't wanna get rid of that, so we're not starting a new channel. Everything's gonna stay the same, 
but we're just gonna add some more content in there and kind of step away from makeup. I'm not gonna be doing reviews on every new launch like I used to do. I'm not gonna be doing only makeup videos. I, you know, I've been taking a lot of time to explore myself. I'm almost 30 now and life changes when you get out of your 20s, you know? For those of you who don't know, you will soon find out. And for those of you who've already experienced it, you're probably like, see, now you get it. I'm sure my dad, uh, I don't really believe in religion, spiritual, or heaven, but if he is up there, I'm sure he's looking down on me being like, you dumb fuck, you finally figured it out. I have done a lot of life changes. I have started budgeting better. I've been actually eating, meal prepping every day, and I feel like my life is at a point where I kind of want to show it. So I'm going to start doing more vlog style videos. I do have um, a kind of body transformation video that will be coming out in the next month or two that I'm working on. It's kind of going to be Michelle Carre style, if you guys have watched any of her videos where she does challenge accepted or when she does um, body transformations for her friends and she helps them do a makeover. I'm going to kind of do that on my own and then film the process. My roommate is going to help me film and everything and I just kind of need to motivate myself and I feel like filming it is going to be one of the biggest things to aid in that because it holds me accountable. If I upload a video showing my fitness progress, you guys are expecting another one, so I need to keep it up. And I've finally gotten to a point where I really need to do that. So yeah, I know this video has been a little bit long and a little bit rambly, and if you guys are not a day one or if you haven't been with me for a while, you probably clicked out of this a while ago, or you're only still watching in this because you're curious as to why there's a katana over there. Um, but hey, that I I might feature that soon. You never know. Um, but yeah, so guys, thank you so much for watching, especially to all of you who are new to my channel and had no reason to stick to the end of this. For those of you who I know stuck through the end, like Laura, Jonathan, Sammy, Tashina, Kiana, you guys, I really truly love all of you because you guys have really, and Sharon, oh my god, so nice. You guys have really been the ones that have been with me since the inception of my channel and have never stopped following. When Ryan passed away, you were the guy, you were the ones that reached out to me, um, and especially Laura, Sammy, and Jonathan, and Bon, you you guys did my first collab with me. You guys are my first YouTube friends and gave me the encourage- we encouraged each other to keep going. I feel like now that life has taken a little bit of a turn for all of us, I haven't seen Jonathan or Sammy, I haven't seen videos from you guys as much, so I'm kinda- I wanna get back into it, maybe hopefully you will too and we can do a collab again. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna sign out for tonight, I don't really think I have much else to say, but Stay tuned for upcoming videos. I have finally gotten into the mentality where I can do multiple videos at once. I have this weird, my brain works this way. If I have a video concept, I will not f even start filming another one until that's done. And then half the time it gets out of hand and then I can't even finish that one and I start something else. I need to realize you, technology is here for a reason. You can film segments of different videos at the same time and work on them separately. Your computer can handle it. <laughs> Steve Jobs made sure of it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for sticking through the end. I know this was not exciting, but it needed to be said, mostly for myself. Um, but yeah, thank you. So stay tuned. I do have one more beauty video coming out, the blackhead remover um, demo, because that I needed to get out beforehand. And this is the other thing, like, when I don't want to do a video, I keep putting it off. And VKK, if you're watching this now, I don't mean that in, like, I don't want to try your product. It's just the editing process. I don't want to talk about skincare anymore. So once that video comes out, we're going to do a new channel direction. And then whenever a new product comes out or something cool that I actually, like, truly want to, like, do the review on and pay for it myself, then I'm going to do it. I don't want to keep just waiting for to get Sephora gratis or getting wait or waiting to get things sent to me in PR and then reviewing it because I feel obligated to do so. That's about it. If you guys want to please subscribe, hit the bell down below. I hate saying that YouTube, please just go back to the olden days where you just fucking subscribe. I don't like the metrics and how it works. So please Please like all of my videos, <laughs> press the like button, hit the bell, uh, share to your friends, and you know, I'm gonna admit, your girl, she broke. If you don't even want to watch my videos, but you want to be supportive, <laughs> please just click on the ads and don't even watch the video, like I don't care. I do. A little. But also I need money. So, so yeah, that's about it guys. Again, I'm so sorry if this was super rambly, and again, I'm a little bit tipsy, but this is the realest way that I can put how I'm feeling right now, and I feel like it's owed to you guys, especially the people who've been with me for years and have supported me, because 
I'm the, I will not sugarcoat it, and I finally have gotten to the point where I'm old enough to realize, you know, when you're young, you think you're right even when you're wrong. And now I'm at that point where, no, I'm wrong, and I need to own up to it. I promised you guys a new content, I promised you guys a new direction, a new brand, and I didn't do it. So here is the time to reconcile that and rectify all of the past transgressions that I have. Now, I don't want to say transgressions, that makes it sound like I did it on purpose. The mishaps and over oversights that I have made on things that I have said I was going to do. We'll put it that way to keep it PC. <laughs> um, and just so I can actually fall asleep tonight and not feel like a total piece of shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, mom, if you're watching this, sorry. I don't know. But anyway, guys, I've said goodbye like four times now. <laughs> it's okay. All right, I will see you guys in my next one. Until then, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my... All right, I can't figure out how to end this, so bye.